Okay. <clears throat> so here's part one of the Ryan Weed Whacker. This is a Ryan. Ryan is what came before Ryobi. This is the oldest and probably the rare, most, yeah, rarest and probably the oldest Weed Whacker that I have in my collection. I'm not fixing up all of those. Those little square Ryobis, I don't care about those. There's my Weed Eater, which I really want to get working. And then there's my Home Light, which already works. But he, this Ryan was given to me by a friend, just like the head, green head trimmer and then uh, a green leaf blower lost somewhere in there. And then that green weed eater, those are all given to me by my friend for free. And this is, this is a really cool weed whacker. I, I believe, if I'm correct, all I really need to do is just fix this pull starter, put some new gas lines in it, and then free up the throttle because the throttle is pretty stuck and I got to be careful because the plastic's old so it might break really easily but yeah I put a guard on it I got that guard off of a craftsman head that I put on that Ryobi I was going to get that Ryobi working but it's a piece of shit so I hate it so I took the head off that, that this is why even if I see something in the curb and it is not fixable I still take it because you never know you're going to need parts off of it so and I needed parts off that put the guard on there now I just need to so yeah all I gotta do is just gas lines clean the carburetor and rip, fix the starter rope hopefully it'll work then afterwards this thing's really cool like it's got the piston is upside down oh I also have to re-solder this I, I, I already soldered the starter on that but um the, the ignition but here's yeah, I'll have to solder this. Spark plug, I believe the spark plug will probably be fine. If the engine's not covered in rust and unusable, then um, I'm sure the spark plug would be fine. But I'm afraid that maybe the engine is covered in rust. But then again, that weed eater was outside just as long as this was. And that weed eater has got excellent compression and it's very smooth. So, I think it'll be fine. It may not look too great, but I'm sure it'll run pretty great once I get it running. I'm excited to get this thing running and check out this kill switch. Never seen a kill switch like that before. So, yeah, I'll keep you updated once I get more progress on this. This is going to be a fun adventure.